Yeah, we need we need a stoppage now from Ward Harrison in this round, John. We need him to step it up, up the tempo a little bit, and this kid he'll stop this kid. Into the second half of the fight. <laughs> right at the very end of the round, probably the last shot of the round, there was a little right up for Maudley, yeah. and he definitely staggered Barnett. He's, he's ready for the taking, this kid. Well, he's marked up under both eyes. His mouth is now hanging open, Jason Barnett. Bring the hook, Jim. Bring the hook. Oh, it's caught him. Right hand. Well, Harrison got Harrison got careless. Takes it well enough. Go, they've got some excitement in the Barnett corner. He got close, didn't he? He just whipped that right hand over the top. His head was to the left. That was in the right position. Just whipped the right hand over. Good shot. Harrison took it well enough, though. Fair play. Harrison now 37 years old. Time to get to the top is running out. This has not been a convincing performance. That's better. For the first time he switches downstairs. Couple of good shots there. We waited five rounds to see it, and I think he oh, I thought for a moment he was going to take the knee. And the referee has said that's enough. Well, the crowd would have liked to have seen a bit more. As soon as Audley Harrison went to work to the body, he got the desired effect. Well, I said I'd like to see a stoppage, and uh, he's delivered it. First time he really switched downstairs, and uh, the guy didn't recover, at least the, the referee didn't think so. But not a great performance, uh, John, from Audley. But he'll be pleased with the way he finished it off. Well, he got a win. That's the that's the main thing, isn't it? But he was always going to get a win in this fight. Back, you got to be. Uh, I'm back, man. <laughs> well, I'm back. Ba I'm back or Batman, as you say. Just switching downstairs. Look. look at that right hook to the body there, finishing the job. Well, there you see those two big shots. Body shots from Audley. And it is win number 22 of his professional career against those three defeats. Against Michael Sprott, Dominic Gwynn and Danny Williams. Audley, I'm sure he'll tell us before too long, will say that his dream is still alive. That was coming through, you know, that wasn't the whole package. We were just trying to get that jab down and the jab was working good, you know. So uh, I was happy with that. You know, I've been out 18 months, I was glad to get back in there and uh, get months. a victory and move on. Yeah, been 18, um, what, last February, February 2007. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I've been, months, yeah, I've been out for 18 months. Yeah, you heard there, Audrey. He's, uh, I think he's relieved just to get it out of the way, Richie. Yeah, he obviously wanted to get some rounds under his belt as well. That's why he was here more or less saying he'd been out for so long. Here's confirmation. Referee Russell Morda steps in, ending this bout with an official time of one minute. 48 seconds of round number five, your winner. By way of technical knockout from London, England. Audley Harrison. Harrison did what was required. Congratulations, a victory, but what did we learn about you in the ring tonight? Well, you know, I've been out for 18 months. Um, <clears throat> today I was trying to work on the jab. I think I think there was much improvement on the jab. That was the focus today. You know, we didn't know much about the opponent, so it was just get behind that jab. And uh, I pretty much busted him up with the jab, you know. A lot of times in my previous fights, I said my jab's got no power. You know, my jab, I've got a weak jab. So I've been working on getting the jab down, and, and the jab was pretty good. My speed was pretty good. So being out for 18 months, I think I was pretty ha happy that the jab was working as well as it was. Buddy wanted me to go downstairs a bit earlier, but as soon as I went downstairs, you know, it's the end of the show. But I was kind of happy to get some rounds, and, I, you know, the, and then the crowd was getting a bit restless, but, you know, Buddy was happy in the corner. He said, stay with that jab, and I was pretty happy with that, considering I've been out for 18 months. You spoke to us earlier in the week about how this was the second coming. This yeah. was oddly was about to rise again. Are you still confident on this display that you will be a world champion? Oh, definitely. I mean, 
I didn't go in there with the whole package. I went in there today, you know, get, try to get the opponent under control. Didn't know nothing about the opponent, you know, didn't know what his star was. You know, and he was a pretty live opponent. He came to try, he came, he didn't come in there to live down. And, you know, my jab was, like I said, my jab was pretty good. And that was what I was focusing on. Everyone knows I got a good left hand. So it's good that I was able to focus on the right hand a bit and, and work on that jab, you know. Just finally, Audley, we know you like a bit of banter. Call someone out. Who do you want next? Tell well, us who you want. Right back now, I'm not calling nobody out. The reality is, you know, I've just come back. I'm going to try and stay busy, sit down with Frank after this, sit down with the team and try and get back out there. You know, the more, you know, ring rustiness is a real thing. It's not fake. And, um, you know, a few more fights, you know, I'll pick up my pace. And, um, you know, the speed was there, the gears were there. I didn't quite have all my gears, but... I'll be calling them out real soon, don't worry about that. Thanks, Audley. Peace.